Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be mixing up all of my dip powder. If you guys saw Marla Chris's video last week, then you guys saw her start this whole mixing of all the dip powders. Um, she called it her Franken dip. Um, so I am going to keep my video pretty similar to hers. If you guys haven't checked hers out, I will leave a link in the description below so that you guys can go watch her video. Her colors came out so pretty and her mani was so gorgeous in her reveal photos at the end of her video. So like I said, I'm going to keep mine pretty simple, pretty similar to how she did hers. I've separated all of my dip powders. I did have 116 dips and I separated them into three categories. The first one here, um, I'm mixing together all of my solid colors and then I will mix those all up and then swatch that one. And then I will move on to my glitter powders, mix and swatch, and then move on to my shimmers, swatch that one, and then I do a little mix of all three all together combined to see what all 116 powders all look like all together. So I am just going to take a fourth teaspoon of each of my colors and just mix it into my little tubware container here. I did include every single dip powder. My dip powders that I first started dipping with before I knew about Revel and Sparkle and & Co and Dipalicious and those companies um, as well as some of my sample colors and custom mixes that I've created um, so yeah I'm just going to keep on mixing up all my dip powders so I figured since this was Marla Chris's idea I thought it would be kind of neat at the end instead of just doing a reveal photo of just my Manny. I thought I would do her reveal photo in there as well just so we could see the difference between what all my colors look like mixed up next to what all of her colors look like mixed up. I was interested in doing that because for the most part me and her pretty much seem to like the same colors on our nails. I know there are a couple colors we agree on that we don't like on our nails. <laughs> but I thought it would just kind of be a cool idea to just include both of our Manny pictures in there. She did give me the A-OK -okay to use her picture at the end of my video. So while I am sitting here mixing up all of my dip powders, I thought I would share with you guys my story of how I found dip powder and just my love of all things nails. So for me, I was 13 and I got grounded. <laughs> it was right after my 13th birthday. It was my weekend at my dad's. Uh, my parents were going through a divorce and I had been asking my mom forever hey, take me get my nails done. Let me get my nails done. And she would never let me. She kept saying, nope, you're going to wait till you're like 16. I'm not going to have you damaging your nails this young. But at my dad's house, our apartment was right behind a shopping center that had a nail salon. <laughs> so one day while my dad was at work, because he used to fix vending machines and stuff, so he was always on call. So when he got called in, I was like, oh, I'm going to sneak up there and go get my nails done. <laughs> and that's what I did. I still remember exactly how I got my first set of nails done. I got them pretty much the same length that I do now. Square, of course. And I don't know if you guys will remember this color, but it was called Cotton Candy. It was mainly, people mainly got it when they got like French manicures done, it was that clear, but it had that pinkish purple tint to it. That was all I got on my nails. No French manicure, no design, no nothing. Because in my mind, 
when my mom came to pick me up, I could totally just convince her, hey, I did these. I got bored at dad's. I painted these. <laughs> she didn't fall for it. She had been getting her nails done for years. She knew what acrylics look like. <laughs> and I mean, she did get me. She was like, how'd your nails grow that long? Two days. <laughs> But I was 13 and I wanted my nails done and I was determined, so I did. Um, but I kind of like fell in love with it like right off the bat. Like just them doing the monomer to the acrylic. I thought that was like the coolest thing. I don't know. I thought it was. I still think it's kind of neat. I'm a nerd. I also went to the same nail tech for pretty much the whole 15, 16 years that I was getting my nails done up until like a year and a half ago when I started dipping. Um, my mom went to her, my sisters all went to her, my one sister still goes to her. Um, and whenever I'm down in the area, I pop in and I say hi. I love her, I adore her, she's so sweet. Um, but for me, I switched to dip powder because of financial reasons. My husband is on the transplant list and dialysis and with all of that come some pretty hefty medical bills and so we had to make sacrifices and for me nails was one of those sacrifices you know because we need food <laughs> um, and I didn't want to give up you know, having pretty nails, and I tried just doing nail polish for a while, but my nails are so thin naturally that it just, I mean, they would crack or they would chip and it would drive me crazy. And I was like repainting my nails every like two days. <laughs> so then I just kind of started Googling online how to, you know, different things I could do to make my nails stronger. And of course those strengthening polishes popped up, which none of those ever worked for me. And then this Kiss brand, I still remember exactly what it is. The Kiss Lightning Speed Acrylic Dip Kit popped up. And I used that for like a good five or six months. Um, and it only came with clear dip. Uh, that is where my sandwich technique came from with the nail polish. I would do like a layer or two of the clear and then I would paint my nails and then I would do another layer of clear over top of that to encapsulate it and make the color last longer and not chip. So that's what I did and then I went to Walmart one day and they had those dip colored colored dip kits there and I did that and then all of a sudden I was on Facebook one day and Revel's community page popped up out of nowhere and I ordered a starter kit and that was it <laughs> that was all it took and now here we are <laughs> mixing up 116 different dip powders <laughs> Uh, I've added it up though. It is still cheaper than what I would have spent in the last year to get my nails done. Because I was spending 60 bucks every two weeks to get them done here. So, but I am just about done. I've talked through all of my solids. Oh, these are my born pretty ones that I got from AliExpress. My pinks and my white ones. It's actually kind of cool mixing these up, the little like marble effect that you get in them. All right, so I think that is all of my colors here. Now we get to mix it up, that's the fun part. Look at that, it's so cool. So I'm curious, how did, if you guys used it powder, what made you guys start doing your own nails was it finances for you did you want to just see if you could do it at home I like hearing everybody's stories everybody's story is different so I'm curious what made you guys start doing dip powder or gel polish or poly gel or 
whatever it is that you do. What made you guys switch to it? All right, so there is my first little dip of that. Now, Marla gave all hers, you know, the Franken dip name. I kind of gave mine weird names. I combined my two hobbies. So I, of course, love doing all things nails and I love to bake. <laughs> so I gave all mine like dessert type of names because I like food. <laughs> so this one I named tiramisu, which is my favorite dessert ever. And for my swatches, I do do the whole dip system. So I do the whole, you know, base, then activate, and then do the finish gel or the top gel. So that is all I am doing here. And just like so. It actually turned out prettier than I thought it was going to. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think. Mine kind of have a purple, it's like a purple-ish brown undertone to them. And now I am moving on to my glitter ones. And you guys will see why when I get to my shimmers, why I did my glitter first. Huh funny story that one I made for Christmas and I never even used it <laughs> I got distracted by the other Christmas colors that I ordered <laughs> all right so I think that I have rambled on long enough you guys are probably ready for me to stop yapping so I'm going to let you guys continue to watch me mix up my powders and I will pop back in here and there so all right enjoy watching me Put all this powder in a bowl. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit.
All right, and there is our thing of glitter mix here, which I named this Dip Fetty. <laughs> you know, like Fun Fetty. I like cake. <laughs> so I'm just going to swatch up my glitter one here. This one turned out a bit darker than I thought, and it is jam-packed full of glitter. Jam-packed. It looks light on the swatch here, but once I put the top coat on it, you guys will see. It almost looks like it has like a blackish type of base to it when it's done. So I'm going to finish up swatching my glitter one and then we will move on to the shimmer colors. And I will be back when we get to the shimmers. So now do you guys see why I save shimmer for last? <laughs> it is like fairies are just sneezing all over the place. 
You can see the shimmers just flying all around. <laughs> it was cracking me up when I was going through and editing this video. I was like, ugh, it's like it's raining shimmers in here. So we are just about done. I only have a few more shimmer powders to go. And then we will swatch this one, mix them all up, and then we will get to reveal photos pretty soon. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think of how my tip powders came out being all, look at all that, <laughs> being all mixed together. Um, I do like Marlo's idea of doing this annually. Um, I like the idea of just seeing how, you know, kind of taste change. I know for me, doing my own nails has gotten me way out of my comfort zone, especially, <laughs> look, <laughs> um, especially with ordering like the mystery boxes and the subscription bags and stuff like that, because I get a lot of colors that I would never really buy you know, if I was just on the site. Um, and a good amount of time, I actually end up liking them. Um, so yeah, I like that about doing the dip because it gets me out of my comfort zone and trying new colors and all that good stuff. All right, so I am going to let you guys continue to watch me mix my shimmers through my fairy storm we have going on. <laughs> And I will be back when we get to swatching. So all of our shimmers are all done. Look how pretty that is, like the marble effect in there. You guys, this one turns out to actually be my favorite color out of all three of them. This one I had a hard time picking a name for. <laughs> so I ran into my son's room real quick and was like, give me a name. I'm giving them all names of sweets and candy and cakes. And he was like, well, Grape Skittle. <laughs> so that's what we ended up naming this one. Look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. I love this one. I still have this whole set on right now. And that one is still my favorite one. It's like a glittery Grape Skittle. <laughs> so I'm just going to swatch this one up for you. And then we will see what the last one, which is all three all mixed together look like. So I will let you guys continue to watch and I will pop back in here in a bit.
You guys have to tell me what you think about that one. Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. I love that one. All right, so now I am moving on and mixing up all three of my colors. I'm just taking my teaspoon here and just doing two, two, two teaspoons of each and then mixing them up. This one, I gave it kind of a weird name. <laughs> I named this one Ambrosia. I don't know if you guys know what that dessert is. I don't like it, <laughs> but it's kind of like weird stuff all mixed together. So that's what I named this one. So I'm just going to stir this one all up and then swatch this one. Still pretty, still pretty. All right, so I am going to get this one all swatched up for you. I'll be back in a bit. And the 
this is how this one turned out. Super pretty with the chunky glitters and all that. All right, and here are all four all swatched and my station all cleaned up. I still have fairy dust blowing all around. So that was our solid color, which we named Tiramisu. Here's the one that my son named Grape Skittle. I love this one, that one's my favorite. It's so pretty. And then we have the jam-packed full of glitter Dipfetti. If I can pick up the swatch. <laughs> jam-packed full of glitter. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you like these, um, which one's your favorite. I'm curious. I really like the Grape Skittle one, this, the shimmer one. And then that was all of them all mixed together. So let me know what you guys think. Would you guys ever do this with your dip powders? Mix them all up, see what you get. It's kind of cool though, because you are getting a custom color that nobody else is gonna have. So here is my girl Marla's Manny. Look how gorgeous that is. And then here's mine. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.